that that fado cannot be taught. It's something that you feel. It's a way of being in life. And uh, so it's very interesting because uh, there are no scores of the fado pieces that I chose for this concert. And the recordings that there are uh, depend on the mood of the player. Sometimes changes rhythm, sometimes embellishments, even notes of the melody. So uh, my work was to discover the notes, discover the rhythm, and see what suited best the harp. And this creative part captivated me. The solo harp concert celebrates the Spanish and Portuguese music heritage with a program that includes more classical pieces and also some traditional songs of the, written for the Portuguese guitar by the famous guitar player Carlos Paredes and his father Artur Paredes. Fado and Spanish music both have these vivid, evocative, passionate and colorful sounds. There's a boldness, a spunk to this type of music that you can only find here. The difference between them resides on the longing sentiment, the fragility associated with saudade of the fado. And when I first heard Carlos Paredes playing, it amazed me his capacity of going from the bold sentiment to the fragile one in a, such a natural way. He can truly sing with the guitar and I wanted to do that on the harp, at least I tried it.
The harp brings to the music a wider range of dynamics and colors that you cannot find on the guitar because the harp has a bigger sound. Carlos Paredes was a virtuoso guitar player in his epoch, like 40, 50 years ago. But nowadays, a lot of young people don't know him. So the ultimate goal of this project is to bring again his music close to the public. Fado is not only a music genre, it's part of a legacy, it's part of a culture. And if we lose that, we lose part of our, our identity as Portuguese people.